Welcome back to Shuffle, everybody. Our thanks, first of all, to all the players at home. If you played along and you did well, congratulations. If you didn't get a chance to play that time, we'll be coming up on another play break right after a bit of unfinished business, as they say, with Tony, Veronica, and Karen. They are the three survivors. Three more questions now for these studio players. And after that, we'll be down to our two finalists who will get to compete in our third round to determine today's studio winner. Okay, all of our player scores are back to zero, and here's the first of your three shuffled lists. We're dealing with names, Jane, Henry, Bridget, and Peter. Which of the acting Fonda family was born the earliest? Absolutely, Henry Fonda, great actor, born 1905, everybody got it. Which Fonda was born next? Tony and Karen scored on that one with the answer Jane. Jane Fonda, born 1937. She was followed by Peter, born in 1939, and Bridget, the youngest, 1964. Let's reveal the total scores for question one. And there they are. Everybody's still close enough to win. 1343 for Tony, Karen at 1268, and Veronica at 814 in third place. But let's move on to question number two and see how things progress for each of these players. This is the shuffle list. See how you'd do with these. Bill of Rights, Emancipation Proclamation, Magna Carta, Declaration of Independence. My question, which of these historic documents was written first? Is that going to be close to a thousand points? Boy, it sure is. Magna Carta, everybody got it. 12-15 the year. Look at those scores. Which of these was the next to be written? History, don't we, players? Declaration of Independence. Everybody scored on that one. 1776 was the year, followed by the Bill of Rights in 1791 and the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862. Very well played. We're going to have some high scores. Let's total them up. Two players in the lead. Tony and Karen. 2605, 2499, 2092. Everybody's still in the game, but Veronica, you have to do well on this question. Final question of the round. This to determine who will move on to our final round, round three. Here's your shuffle list. Study these carefully. Jungle Cruise, Splash Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Haunted Mansion. Question is, which Disneyland ride debuted first? Karen may have taken that ride in 1955. Jungle Cruise, you got it. Which ride appeared next? says you guys can have this one. Pirates of the Caribbean. Tony and Veronica got it. The year was 1967 for Pirates, followed by the Haunted Mansion. That opened in 1969 at Disneyland. And Splash Mountain, it's easy for me to say, 1989. Let's total up everything and see who's moving on to our final round. And there they are, Tony and Karen. Pretty close scores. All right, Tony. Congratulations to the two of you, and sorry we have to say goodbye to you, Veronica, but we do have some nice parting gifts for you. you. And we'll be back with our two finalists, Karen and Tony, in a moment to determine today's winner right after we give you at home a chance to be a winner as well. Take a look at this. Welcome back to Shuffle, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and thanks to all of our players at home. If you didn't get a chance to play that time, I always like to point out, we'll be coming up on another play break right after this round with Tony and Karen. In my hand, three more questions for our final two players. This will determine today's studio winner. Will it be Tony? Will it be Karen? Whichever. They'll receive that marvelous trip to New Orleans, Louisiana, and our runner-up will get this prize. Randy? Week our runner-up will receive Bosch and Lom Compact Discoverer Binoculars. Waterproof, fogproof, and center focus enables you to get closer to the action. One of the first names in sports optics from Bosch and Lom. Okay, both of our player scores we take back to zero. It's like starting over, and here's the first of three shuffle lists. We have Happy Together, Put on a Happy Face, Don't Worry, Be Happy, and Happy Days are Here Again. My question is, which song was published first? A lot of points. You both got it. Happy Days Here Again, 1929. Which was the next song to be published? Tony got 
got it, put on a happy face. 1960 was the year, followed by Happy Together, 1967, and Don't Worry, Be Happy, Bobby McFerrin, 1988. Let's reveal the scores for question one. Bobby's going to take the lead. He's carrying missed part two of that one. 1434 to 890, the score. Moving on to question two, players. Here is your shuffled list. Play along at home and see how you do with Jane Fonda's workout book, Fatherhood, Roots, and The Way Things Ought to Be. Which book became a number one nonfiction bestseller first? Karen got back at you that time, Tony. She got it. Roots, 1976. Which of these was the next bestseller? trade-off here. Tony got it. Jane Fonda's workout book, 1982, the answer, followed by Fatherhood in 1986 by Bill Cosby, and The Way Things Ought to Be, Rush Limbaugh, 1992. Tony, very well done. Let's total up your scores and check the lead. 1916 to 1655, still close enough, but Karen, you got to do pretty well on this question. All right, hands on those numbers, and here we go with the final question of the round. This will determine our winner to go to New Orleans, Louisiana. The last shuffled list is this. Florida, Mississippi, Alaska, and New York. Tell me, in which of these states is the average resident oldest? Tony got it, Florida. 36.4 years the average. Which state comes next for its average older resident? Karen got it, New York. 33.9 years, followed by Mississippi, 31.2 years, and Alaska, 29.4 years. They live young up there. All right, let's total up the scores and find out, will our winner be Tony, or will it be Karen? And today's winner is Tony. Not quite enough, Karen. You had 2,521 points to your 1980. Good game, though. Boy, both of you played wonderfully well. Tony, you've won that trip to New Orleans, and I hope you have a good time there. We have this for you as well. Randy, tell us. Enjoy the legendary jazz and fabulous New Orleans, Tony. Then try your hand on Kawhi's 61-note full-size keyboard. Features touch sensitivity and exclusive one-finger ad-lib that lets you play like a pro in seconds. From Kawhi, congratulations, Tony. Tony, that trip to New Orleans and the keyboard price is worth over $2,500. So a good day for you on Interactive Shuffle. We have to say goodbye to Karen, but you'll receive a pair of binoculars. And our thanks for playing Shuffle, Karen. Thank you. Delighted to meet you. We'll be back with Tony in a moment. First, let's give you at home a chance to get in on some fun and win some prizes on Interactive Shuffle. It's easy. Watch. Thanks for playing at home, everybody. And Tony, our champion today, did you bring along your good luck charm? Absolutely. What is that? That's a World Series ticket from the game where Kurt Gibson hit a two-out uh, game-winning home run against Dennis Eckersley in the World Series. And that's your good luck charm. Absolutely. It brought you luck I and some so. brains, too. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Have a good trip much. to New Orleans. See you next time, everybody. Wink Martindale. Bye-bye. Some of our participants may receive Vanish drop-ins now last 33% longer. So the cleaning and stain-fighting power you've come to expect from Vanish lasts longer. Armatron All Sport. Great look, great features, including 29.5 day moon phase. Armatron, the best priced quality watch in America. Hatteras Hammock Unique Single Seater Hanging Porch or Garden Swing. Hand woven cotton rope promises durability and many relaxing hours from Hatteras Hammock. Pasta Mamas brings convenience to gourmet cooking with their line of dessert pastas and sauces furnished by Pasta Mamas. Viva Bags of California, designers of unique high-fashion handbags, an excellent compliment to any outfit. Handcrafted in the USA for the finest European leathers and hardware, Viva Bags of California. Join host William Shatner for real-life heroism and suspense on Rescue 911, tonight at 9 Eastern, right here on the Family Channel. Now, test your knowledge with Trivial Pursuit, next.